figs in a blanket? The number one most requested party food is the pig in a blanket. Everybody loves them. I love them so much. I actually wrote an entire book about them called Tiny Hot Dogs. I'm always looking for ways to reinvent this classic. So today, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you could serve a pig in a blanket. We're gonna do figs in a blanket, carrots in a blanket, and chicks in a blanket. Figs in a blanket. It's a great veggie alternative, just like our carrots in a blanket are too. So I'm gonna take one whole fig, cut it in half, so I get two pieces per each fig. I'm gonna pull out my puff pastry, and at the end, instead of brushing it with butter on the inside, I'm gonna brush it with a little bit of honey. It acts like the glue to hold the fig down. But I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna add a tiny little piece of manchego cheese. Manchego is salty and nutty, and it goes really, really well with the fig. So I'm gonna put that inside as well, and then wrap that up. When I'm done rolling all of these, I'm gonna brush the outside with a rosemary butter. It'll give the butter a little scent. So how do you get a carrot to taste like a tiny hot dog? Super easy. First, I'm gonna boil one cup of apple cider vinegar, one cup of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of smoky paprika or um, liquid smoke, and throw in our tiny carrots. We're gonna boil them. What that is gonna do is it's gonna make the carrot have both a sweet and smoky and salty taste. Okay, so my carrots are cooled. They're soft, but they're not mushy. They're sort of in between. So what I'm gonna do is pull out my puff pastry, and I'm gonna take one of these carrots, and I'm gonna just roll these up. How simple is that? And brush it with butter. Can't tell, right? Next one up is chicks in a blanket. Okay, so I have my puff pastry. I have store-bought or homemade chicken nuggets. I actually came up with this recipe when I had leftover chicken nuggets and leftover puff pastry. And I was like, ooh, shall I combine these two and make a chicken in a blanket? So take the chick at the top. I'm gonna add a spicy buffalo cheese. It's a cheddar cheese with hot sauce and peppers. Roll it up in a blanket. So now I have my carrots in a blanket, my figs in a blanket, and my chicks in a blanket. And they are going into the oven for about 25, 30 minutes at 350. My piggies are done. I'm gonna serve these figs in a blanket with a little bit of honey, the carrots in a blanket with some Dijon mustard, and the chicks in a blanket with some blue cheese dressing. Pigs in a blanket, three ways.